3, 2, 1. Welcome to the regalia. My name is Pat. Now let's get back to Persona 4. Let's go back into our room and watch the Midnight Channel. The last episode was pretty hectic. A lot of things happened. I'm not saying it's not going to be a lot of things happening this episode. I believe there will be things. But uh, it's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Definitely. <laughs> things are coming up. I'm ready for it. In other Inaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Yeah, a lot of Our fog. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up to date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Ooh, I, I was gonna say a lot of fog can cause um, like atmospheric problems. Uh, the time is now midnight. Will I hear the beep? No. <laughs> in Persona 3, there was a beep. The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. It seems to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. The image is out of focus that you can't tell who it is. And we can kind of tell who it is. Seriously, not, not much people we know wear a kimono. What would happen if you touched the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on the screen? You cannot. Oh, you can! Oof. The image disappeared. Okay, so you can. You should speak to Yosuke and Chi about this tomorrow. You decided to go to bed for tonight. So the people we see in the Midnight Channel are... I believe predictions. Or are they already in there? Oh, wow. This is... Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real the world. I have summoned you within your dreams. It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. Look how much... And so we meet again. Look how much, uh, like, wine glass over there, but there's not much wine. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. I did? <laughs> Thereby, enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. What is that? Oh, uh, the Velvet Key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this Velvet Room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Yeah, I can do that. That's easy. I understand. Very well. The persona you have acquired it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Oh yeah, it's Izanagi. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero, empty yet holding infinite potential within itself. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why we could use multiple personas. Ah, uh, special. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Uh, control one's heart? I still don't get it. I, I get it, but uh, control one's heart. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. 
At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? Yo, man, Mar Margaret is so beautiful. Oh my god, just like looking at her, I'm like, my heart, the palpitations. Uh. Okay, okay, stop. I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. Okay. Bye bye, Igor. I'll see you later. This is a cool place. The Velvet Room is like a traveling bar. In a limousine of some sort. Oh, those trees, bro. Those trees, the graphics. Yo. Oh, that was a close one. Close one. You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. Sounds good to me. Let's go. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? It has to be us. I wanted to keep my word too. Let's bring an end to this. You do it. No. Let's bring an end to this. This sounds the best. Yeah, I agree. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Yeah, you could think of it that Again, way. You managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. First come, first served, though, you know what I'm saying? I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. <laughs> Hopefully, Yosuke grows up to be a detective. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. Uh, you sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. Oh yeah, no way, our first social link. And, yeah, cool man, this was the magician. Uh, thou art I, and I am Dao. Thou hast established a new bond, it brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the magician arcana. Ooh, cool animations. It goes into his body. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart, strengthening. You recall Igor's words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links. Is this the bond that... Uh, oh, is this the bond with Yosuke that Igor was talking about? Uh, you've established the Yosuke Hanamura social link. The Magician Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke now... Wow! Can now take a mortal blow for you in battle. This is crazy. When you receive a blow that would otherwise kill you, your ally will take the hit. Wow! This man is loyal! That is crazy! Wait, wait, wait. What are these special effects? Hello, Chie. Uh, um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Oh, th never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Nope. Huh? Y Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. I saw her yesterday. Oh man, what should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday, I... I mm. think it was Yukiko. Oh boy.
That kimono looks like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during the interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. This is a dire situation, boys. I called to her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. Oh. I... That means it happened this morning? Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? Uh, it happened this morning. <sighs> no. You summed up the information you gained in that other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? Yeah, we kind of think it happened like that. I mean, two we don't people, know yet right? For sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. Good. Her voicemail picked up. She's not answering. Uh oh. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko san inside that place? Wow. Just stop, stop it. Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Uh, it's happening to people close to us. What the heck? Okay, hold on. Oh, or or Who she might be helping this? at the inn. I mean, she wouldn't be able to answer herself if that's it. Who could have done this? Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Oh, thank God she's there. She is? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Huh? Oh, no, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. Oh, okay. That means we got the wrong person. Yeah. It's all good. <sighs> she was over at the end. Oh, my goodness. This girl panicked like crazy. No, but... No, but we saw her... We definitely saw her on the Midnight Channel. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah, now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. She said she'll be at the end tomorrow, too. Oh, for crying out loud, Yosuke! You got me worried over nothing! What? Why you came to she us worried? She was totally fine! And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? Oh. What? What do you mean? S sorry. <laughs> we're just worried about her, man. But there is a reason we thought that. Yeah, it happened to two people. Two people. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. Okay, so it's a prediction. I knew it. I, I knew, I was thinking if it's a prediction or a... It's already happened, so it's a prediction. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. Yeah. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. Maybe the killer is recording. Yeah, they're like, this is the person who's next. This is the person who's next. This is the and they put it on the midnight channel. I feel like it's. I feel like it's that. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. You explain to Chie in detail again about what happened last night. Okay, so Chie, so this is what happened, and then this was what happened. We saw a big ass bear. Okay, and he helped I think us. that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. Oh no, she was. Yeah, she was with us when the when we saw the bear. The personas, though. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand. I'd never have believed a story like that. Nah, the personas, though. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Not it's too much people. Shoo, go. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. Well, we could kind of get their attention away. I got it. Come here a sec. Yeah, let's go get their attention. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. Oh. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. 
Oh. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? A wall? It tried beckoning Teddy over. Come here. Come here. Oh! Something bit you. What's wrong? Uh-oh. That girl's looking. Shh, not so loud, you idiot. That girl's looking at us. Dude, is that a bite mark? Are you okay? I think I'm gonna cry. I'll be alright. I'm fine. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, come on. Don't cry. Sheesh, that stupid bear must have done it. <laughs> hey, you. We know you're in there. Oh, we can hear. Oh, is this a game? You can hear us. No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so barren. Barren. <laughs> oh, the pun. Shut it! So there's no one inside? You're sure? Uh, I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Uh. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. What if the killer is inside the inn? Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Oh no, but we got Chie though, the bodyguard. We'll be good. We'll, we're fine. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. All this time and we didn't even trade cell phone numbers with our friends? What the heck? Alright, don't forget to watch tonight. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? Yeah, man! Kimono! Long hair, come on. You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. We will. Oh, what is this? Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. Uh, then, okay. okay. We don't even know if this is a homicide. It's a homicide? Hanging people. Come on. It's a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. Exactly. I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. How do you know? You could have multiple people working together to get that body up there. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Masuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He was probably at home jacking off or I don't know, man. There's no way... I don't think this is a one-man, uh, like, job. This is definitely more, a group of people, at least. Yeah. He's been working in the city for the past six months. No, but like, there's... Okay, the, so far there's two girls. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. Uh, maybe the killer is going after women. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. 
Yeah, he's got an alibi. He's good. He's good. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. Oh. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah. I agree. What is that? <laughs> then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. Yeah. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. How do you know that? Maybe she saw the guy putting him, putting the girl up. This guy assumes too much. A detective never assumes. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. Oh wait, after she reported the body, the culprit didn't hide her. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. Coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. I don't know about that, man. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. Why is he smiling? There's literally... They're uh, in the rain, talking about bodies. Okay, dead bodies. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. Oh, okay. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. Like she saw something. Okay, okay. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Okay. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Wow, this is... This has to be the. Of course, it's someone in Inaba, man. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Dojima, what? Are, are you really detective? Are you are, are you an actual detective? Welcome home. Wait, what? Welcome back. Welcome home. Okay, I, it's fine. I don't have food. I'm sorry. Uh, hmm. This answer is hard. Nanako is absorbed in the quiz show. I should leave her alone. I love Jeopardy. Let's. Oh, it's gonna rain. No, wait, sorry. It's sunny for three days. Today, tomorrow, and Tuesday. Okay, I'll let Nanako watch. Let's go watch the Midnight Channel. Yeah, okay. Dojima's like. Hmm, people are dying in Inaba. That means the killer must be in Inaba. It's obvious. <laughs> it's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Is that a PSP? Or a, P uh, not a PSP. Uh, like a PS2 on top of his TV? Good evening. Tonight, That's definitely her. Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud! Welcome to Not A Dream, Not A Hoax! Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming! And I came prepared! I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to Ooh. bottom! I'm out to catch a whole harem and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine! Well, here I go! Don't go in there! Don't, don't go in there! No! Oh my god! That was definitely Yukiko on the Midnight Challenge now. Ooh, Yosuke saw that as well. Hey, did you see that? That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? Low-budget TV show. <laughs> Oops. Okay, calm down. Try to contact Yukiko. She's gone. So let's contact Chie. Uh, okay. Please work. You're right. Let's get her to contact Yukiko-san. Tomorrow is Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. Okay, so Juness is our headquarters. 
Why not my place? Look, doesn't this look cool? You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. Like the table's there. That's our our uh, our briefing area. Um, that's pretty much it. My room's not that big. You decide to go to bed early tonight. Y yeah. My room definitely has that traditional feel to it. Ooh. This dude's outfit, bro. Outfit. Hello, Nanako. Oh, good morning. Aw, she looks so sad drinking her juice, man. Can you come with us? We'll, we'll just... Just come! We'll have some fun. We'll be killing some monsters. It seems that only Nanako is here. Where's your father? You're up early today. Let's not bring her father in. Like, seriously? He woke up early, so I woke up with him. Huh? He said he's gonna be late. Yeah, if you leave, Nanako will be left alone. Aw, to look after the house. <sighs> On the other hand, you have important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? <laughs> I'll be fine by myself. Ah. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... It's perfect! Let's go! Let's go together at oh, least. The sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Oh god, dot dot dot. You decided to go out. Sorry for the hold up. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. Oh my god, bro. We got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. You had real weapons in your closet? This guy's. What? So, which one strikes your fancy? A sword or a kitchen knife? Nah, it's a sword, man. A katana. I could, chi. Nah, I could cheat. No, 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 no. Katana, please. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. Can I have a discount? The blade's fake, though. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kind of like this? Oh my gosh. I don't know if you could dual wield a long sword and a short blade at the same time. Or like this! Oh, oh, that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Yo. I, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool. Oh my god, please! Two suspicious young males found. One armed with multiple weapons. <laughs> requesting immediate backup. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, god. One armed with multiple weapons. Oh, uh... Huh? Crap, I mean... We can explain. Officer, we can explain. No, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. Oh, no. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> oh, my God. Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now. Oh, he's all serious about it. This isn't. He's Are all you serious. Resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest. Oh shoot! Does he have a gun? No. Oh god. Oh, they swarmed us. You were taken to the police station with Yosuke as suspects. Chill, boys. Chill. We're just students. No need to go crazy on us. Oh god. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. Oh, God. We're gonna get lectured. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. Oh. We're sorry. That's gotta hurt, bro. Can't get to school. Can't get a job. Impossible. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it, but she's just a high schooler, you know. 
could be that she decided to run away from home. Oh god. She's gone already. Hey! Did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? <laughs> Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Yeah, we're gonna, we should keep Yosuke chained up, bro. Like, this man does stupid things. We always get in trouble. Oh, what's up? Pardon me. Hello. That coffee? Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Yes. Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh. Um, am I allowed to say? <laughs> I am allowed to say. Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. She just vanished? Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days. Oh god. So we're really sensitive to stuff like this. Oh god. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? No. Uh, hard times? Why? Well, that announcer Miss Yamano was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. Like the daughter? The daughter's attitude? No way. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, oh, okay, she must okay. have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? Oh, that's why she resigned. That's why the manager like was put to the side. Okay, okay. Now, now I get it. By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? At least we got the explanation. Um, nope. as if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Because she's scared. Ah, crap! I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Wait, wait, wait. Staying low. Why would she be staying low? What the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Oh, shoot. Dojima's crazy. Sorry, I got it right here. Good voice actor, man. Good voice actor. Forget I said anything, please. <laughs> Adachi's that uh, rookie officer. Oh, so that's his name, Adachi. Adachi! Hey. Does that detective think that Yukiko-san? There you are! Oh, she's here. Jay, what's up? Oh, she's all green. What are you guys doing? She's all green, <laughs> like a frog. I've been looking everywhere. Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her Sal, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it, it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. Wow. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Yeah, wh why? Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. Oof. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. Oh, man. That's horrible. They think Yukiko did it? What the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Okay, ooh. Look, we need to save her. Let's all calm down. We obviously can't calm down because our friend is missing. So, look, we need to save her. Right, that's the important thing. With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I, did I say how swag Yosuke is right now? Like, dude, the man's headphones are in, like, his... What is that? Collar? And it, it's, like, fur collar? Like, bro, aren't we in summer? S -s Spring. Spring, summer. What the heck? I'm going to. Oh, no, wait. 
And that's final. Yeah, it is. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Yeah, it's uh, it's spring summer cuz she is wearing skirt, like uh, I mean shorts, so it should be pretty Are warm. Are you going to be all right? But man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? I know just the place. Ah? Ow. Come on, follow me. How does she know weapons? How does she know where to get weapons? What? What is this girl doing? Uh is this is this legal? Is this legal? Here we are. How did we get here? What kind of shop is this? A metalworks, I, I guess. They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Yeah, I was, I was just asking that. But first, is this legal? Right, like right now, they sell axes meant to decimate people. Alright, like what is this? Oh, I get it. We watch one too many kung fu movies and those are guns in the back. Look, they're guns, like the old styled guns. It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Oh, here. This one looks good. Oh, but it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but you don't! You don't know shit about how I feel! Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud! I'm going, and that's that! Oh, alright. Okay, but stay behind us. You really shouldn't do this. Nah. She sh at most, she should come with us. I'm gonna say this. Stay behind us. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Ah. Listen, I'm not kidding around. I wasn't really talking about <laughs> reflexes or ability to fight. I'm just worried, you know. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. Mm. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. Man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Oh, okay, we're going shopping. 5,000 yen from Yosuke. Let's go shopping, boys and girls. Uh, I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? We're still choosing. Wait, I, I thought we were a party. Just me and Yosuke then. You know, if... We wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Yeah, that's true. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Huh? You can't... You can't do that. Okay, let's try that. Alright, let's split up and get ready. You can't put... Uh, like a leather armor under your uniform, like... The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Yeah. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Okay, you see that helmet over there on the top shelf? Try concealing that in your uniform, hmm? Yeah. You can't. But that helmet... Yo, this place? Hmm? I'm gonna give it to Chie. Old man died dot. Ooh, his face is chopped up. Have you come to look at my art? Please look around. Take your time. Ooh. We gone by. Oh, so he's. What does it do? Strength by one, endurance one. Nah, we're gonna go buy some swords. Weapon. Oh my god, our weapons are so poo. Hold on. Ah, Yosuke, what is a hunting nata? What's a machete? 
forty two fifty three. Uh, sell the monkey wrench. Yes, please. Let's go buy some armor. Can't buy armor. That's okay. That's okay. We have nothing to sell. That's okay. Hmm. There's a lot of motion blur in this game. Ooh! There's a bizarre door before you. That's the velvet room, definitely. But why here? It seems the others can't see the door. So, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. <laughs> Isn't it gonna be weird that I just walk in and disappear? Out of nowhere? Even if people can't see the door. Alright, let's go. Let's go in. He's gonna teach me about personas, I think. This is how it's gonna be. Oh man, does this game have a compendium? That's gonna be lit! I need a compendium. We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. Okay. Your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. Okay. When you defeat an yep, enemy, same thing. the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds before... Okay, okay. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. Wait, is this a figure of speech? Or is this actual... When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. Okay, you recall that you have the Magician, okay, with Yosuke. It seems that when a persona of the Magician Arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. Igor, that knows the though. you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Yes! 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 Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Alright. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. Oh man, so I have a year again to make a difference. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. I will not. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. Sounds good. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. Bye bye, Igor. See you later. Oh, wow. I can move around. I can save in the middle of the street. Okay, hold on. Before I. I'm gonna conclude it here, but I'm just gonna walk around. Nothing there. What's down here? Bus stop. Wait, 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 wait. You have no reason to use the bus right now. That you're supposed to meet. Uh, okay, okay. Juness. We're supposed to go to Juness. Damn, this is crazy. Okay, bookstore. There's a poster. A great man is out on what day? April twentieth. Or oh, that's too expensive. Too expensive right now. Metal works. Mailbox. No, I said mailbox, man. There's no reason for you to use it right now. Okay. Tofu. Uh, an old woman is tending the store. Hello, ma'am. 
You know what makes life easier when I'm taking walks and shopping? The square button. With just the press of the square button, you can come and go as you please. The wonderful square button. The ever present, press me anytime, square button. Um, I know this is all kind of weird, but please don't think too strangely of me. Let's do it. Oh, I like that. I like that. Shiroku store. Shiroku? Wow. Old lady Shiroku. Hello. Um, oh, medicine. What's this? What's Dokudami? Cures poison. Okay, okay, we good. We good. I'm liking this. I like this. Uh, that's north. I'm not gonna. I'm. Not, I'm not gonna go to Juness in this episode. So I'm gonna save here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Remember, divided we are unequal, but together we are kings and queens. See you soon.